Hi everyone, we're Team 1012 from RMIT University in Melbourne. Daniel Mung and I have come up with a model to solve problem A, hair pulling to line your nest. Before we dive into the background of this problem, assumptions, how we built our model, some simulations and limitations of our model, we would like to take this opportunity to thank Simiod for organizing this competition and allowing us to investigate a realistic situation with the help of differential equations. We would also like to extend our sincere gratitude to our coach, Dr. Simon Johnstone Robertson, for his immense support and guidance up until the start of this competition. Moving on, what is kleptotrichy? Kleptotrichy is the stealing of mammal hair by birds. In simpler terms, feather theft. The focus here is to see if the benefits of stealing hair from live mammals actually worth it. Do these benefits truly outweigh the risks associated with hair pulling? To begin with, we came up with a list of assumptions. Firstly, we assumed that all benefits and risks associated with kleptotrichy have the same effect on the survival rate, regardless of bird and mammal species. Next, we assumed that the benefits of thermal insulation have the same potential weighting as parasite blockage and egg predation. The birds are expected to build their nest over a period of 4 to 12 days. Depending on the risk or benefit, the bird will decide whether or not it will pluck a mammal's hair. This final decision is going to be proportion based. That is, it will be considered as a rough percentage of success with the winner being the higher value. In terms of building our model, we used the lotka volterra competition model as our base equation. We used it to model the dynamics of benefits and risks to come up with the final decision. The parameter and constant values have all been constrained to take values between 0 and 1 as they correspond to proportions. An additional differential equation reflecting the survival rate was added. This equation is positively affected by the benefits and negatively affected by the risks. The proportional constant terms a and b are the respective sums of their associated benefit and risk values. When examining the potential benefits of kleptotrichy, we decided to use three separate factors. B1, an insulation factor. B2, a parasitic prevention factor. And B3, a predation prevention factor. We then decided to combine these factors together to create a single constant A, which sits as a value between 0 and 1, a proportion. We define the first equation from the lotka volterra competition system as the rate of change of the benefits with respect to time. We use the constant little a defined in the previous slide as the influence of benefits on the system. We also introduce a carrying capacity of 1 into the system as we decided to look at proportions in our analysis. The alpha term, which is constrained to be within the range of 0 to 1, is the effect risks has on the benefits when the risks and benefits interact in this equation. When defining the risks of kleptotrichy, we decided to look at two broad risks. R1 is the risk of extending the search radius. For instance, with a larger search radius, the risk of a bird coming to grief, either by injury or predation, also increases. And R2, the mammal reactivity factor. This term defines how generally reactive a mammal is when the bird is pulling hair. The higher the value, the higher the risk of injury or possible death to the bird. We then combine these terms into another constant, little b, where little b is greater than 0, but less than 1. The second equation in our use of the lotka volterra competition system is the rate of change of risks with respect to time. The constant little b, defined in the previous slide, is the influence risks has on the system. And like the previous equation, our carrying capacity is set to 1. The term beta is the influence the benefits has on the system when risks and benefits interact. Our final equation is one of our own design and is defined as the rate of change of survival rate of a nest of eggs with respect to time. This equation was built to also have a carrying capacity of one in the analysis and is designed to be a system where if the benefits of kleptotrichy outweigh the risks, the survival rate increases. And when the risks win out, the survival rate decreases. We also use two previously defined terms. The alpha term gives us the proportion of risks affecting the system, and the beta term gives us the proportion of benefits affecting the system. To testify the reliability of our model, we set all the benefits and risks parameters to take equal values, as well as starting off with the same initial conditions. 
where a is equals to the sum of the first row uh, in the table and b is equal to the, the sum of the second rows and alpha and beta are the effect of risk on the benefits and the benefits of on risk respectively and in all the simulation 0.4 is used as an initial condition for the survival rate since the benefits and risks respective parameters compete off with each other, both the benefits and risks follow the same dynamics which is shown in the first figure. And th the three vertical lines correspond to the typical time, namely 4, 6 and 12 in days that bird takes to complete their nests. As a consequence of having all parameters taking the same value, um, the survival rate also remains constant throughout the simulation. And this is an expected outcome as there is no net difference between the benefit and risk dynamics that would cause a change in the survival rate and the survival rate of the eggs could therefore be determined by the value of the survival rate maintained at the end of the three typical days in these scenarios we set off with the higher benefits initial value namely 0.4 but let the effect of risk on benefits alpha to dominate over the effect of benefits on risk beta having a higher alpha value means the risk of plugging hair is outweighing the benefits the hair provides for the survival of the eggs the benefits and risk dynamics reflect in accordance with the input alpha and beta values. As depicted in the figure on the left, we can see that the benefits curve initially exceeds the risk because of having a larger initial condition. However, due to the higher risk on benefits, the risk overtakes the benefits after around 6 days of building the nest. When analyzing the survival rate figure on the right, we observe that it increases for a few days and then start to gradually decline as time progresses. The the early increase in survival rate occurs because of having a high initial benefits input. This explains why the survival rate has a slight upward trend before it heads down towards a lower survival rate over the course of the simulations. The survival rate of the eggs are determined by the value obtained from the survival rate function at these three typical days. For these simulations, we begin with the same initial conditions for both benefits and risk. We intend to analyze the role between the benefits and risk factors versus the effect of risk on benefits and that of benefits on risks. The parameters A, B, alpha and beta are chosen such that the risk factor B is set to be three times larger than the benefits factor A and the benefits on risks beta is two times more effective than the risks on the benefits alpha. Although both benefits and risks starts off with the same initial value, the risk initially is dominating over the benefits. Despite having a dominant dynamics at the start, the risk gets overtaken by the benefits at around for eight days. Even though the risk is higher for the first few days, it is not strong enough to reduce the survival rate. As depicted on the right figure, the survival rate follows a monotonic behavior despite early domination made by the risks. Although the risk factor is three times larger than the benefits and the benefits to risk is only two times as much it has a greater effect on survival rate this likely is an intrinsic property of the system where the effects of benefits to risks beta has a greater influence on the survival rate than the risk factor b here again the survival rate of the eggs could be determined by the value obtained from the survival function at the end of the three typical days now, in terms of the limitations of the model, the model we use is very general. The explanation of the dynamics is as only good as the assumptions are. A good way to rectify this would be to conduct further field research, as well as learning and employing more rigorous and advanced modeling techniques. Currently, the model only uses the risk and benefit factors as proportional values. To resolve this, we could build functional dependency with respect to time within each coefficient, or even use known equations such as Newton's law of thermal dynamics. As it stands, the significance of thermal and parasitic prevention impact are weighted the same. We could improve this by introducing a function of hair quality that classifies how good the hair is at insulation or acting as a barrier. We should note that the model we built doesn't take into consideration the impact of climate during the bird's nesting period. Obviously, we could implement a coefficient or even a function that is sensitive to temperature variation. Finally, as it stands, our model isn't constrained to a specific time frame. To improve on this, we could use a specific window of nest building time depending on location, climate, and even subspecies of bird, and even have our function become constant at the time when nest building is completed. Thank you for watching our presentation. This has been an incredible experience.